Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Price and Test Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 46 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level, and advanced level concepts. From past couple of videos, I have started posting the real time scenarios where you might encounter an obstacle while automating the test cases. So how can we solve different types of obstacles in real time? So this is our lesson 5 as part of real time scenarios with obstacles. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. And don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you encounter an obstacle, you need to interact with complex web tables and rows are dynamic within the web table, which means the data within the cells are dynamic and the web table is complex to interact. So how can we solve this obstacle while automating your test cases. So for that, let us first understand what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for. So here we are going to solve the fifth obstacle here 92248. So let's go for it. So let us understand what is the obstacle. So here complete table interactions click the edit button for John Doe. So it might looks like simple but let me explain. So this particular obstacle is categorized as hard. Why? Because if you observe closely here this is our web table with columns first name, last name, email and action. So in this web table, we can see around four rows. We need to click on edit button for the row where first name is John and the last name is Doe. That means this is first row. John Doe is in first row. You need to click on edit. But so as soon as you click on edit, so let me try you again one more time. What happens? The page gets refreshed. If you see here now, where is John Doe? Now the John Doe is in the last row. So let's click on edit again. And let me try again. Now your John Doe is in second row. Okay. So that means the data within the rows is dynamic. So now how can I click on edit button corresponding to the John Doe row. So for that let us go to Tricentis Tosca. As usual we are going to start scanning the application and the objects. So what is the folder? This is the folder that we are working on. Obstacles is the folder. Double click on this. So we already completed four different obstacles in our previous lessons. So I would recommend you guys to go through those obstacles. So now let's right click on obstacles folder and click on scan and select application. So this is the application that I would like to scan. Let us maximize the window and if you see here, what is the table? This is your web table that we are talking about. This is your web table. Persons is the web table, right? So let's select this and click on highlight. See, it is highlighting the web table. That means this is our web table and if you see for every row, you have two buttons. One is 
remove another one is edit correct so that's why we can see remove edit remove edit so four rows four remove edit buttons okay so let me select one edit button because we have to click on edit button i would like to select one of the edit button so we need not to select multiple but one of the edit button if you see the edit button is not uniquely identified because you have multiple edit buttons and the properties of those buttons are same so for now you need not to worry about the edit button not identifying uniquely we are going to solve this unique identification while automating our test case so for now you can just ignore even though it is not identifying uniquely let's save the objects so what i did i've selected web table and one edit button so let's rename this module as i told you it's best practice to rename the module with logical sense okay i'm renaming it with obstacle name okay so now let's save and close your x scan so let's go back to tricentis task so this is our new fifth obstacle where i can see web table row column and edit button so now let's create a new test case right click on this obstacle folder and click on create test case name this as obstacle name okay double click on test case so now let us create a test case so we need to automate the test case to automate you need to drag this module whatever we captured and drop onto your test case okay so once drag and drop onto the test case now let's see what we should do okay so if you see here the web table has row column and edit button so basically the edit button is outside the row and column whereas in the application the edit button is within the row so that's why we have to bring this inside a row so that this edit button can be uniquely identified so earlier when i am saving the module this edit button was not uniquely identified because it is not within the row so what i'm going to do now for that let's go back to your module what i'm going to do this is your edit button i want to move this edit button to the row inside the row simply click on this drag and drop inside row so now you can see your edit button is inside row you have a cell and row correct in the same way now your test case also you can see here you have table row cell edit button so if you add remove button you will have a remove button also okay so now your edit button can be uniquely identified whatever the row number which i pass that becomes your edit button so now here under cell i would like to select first name why because i would like to click on an edit button which has a first name of john so that means i selected the row as first name and if you observe closely i am not mentioning the row whether it is a first row second row last row or something because i want to iterate through all the rows identify if it is a john then click on edit button okay so for that what i am going to do first name if first name what is the value john here i am not going to verify i am going to use the action mode as constraint 
if you observe closely here i am selecting a table select a table and then i am selecting a row i am validating first name john and i am including it as a constraint constraint means filter so basically check for the row which has a first name as john constraint means it is going to look for that particular row and then if you see here in the first name i can see this is john and this is also john that means i have a duplication right but last name should be do here the other one has last name little so now i need to include a constraint for last name also so that's why i'm going to select here another cell if the cell last name contains do john do d o e do and add a constraint constraint means it's going to look for this data then only it proceeds to the next step okay so under this table for any row because i am not selecting first row or second row okay for any row look for first name as john and look for last name as do that's why i'm including action mode as constraint and then if these two matches then click on edit button so here clicking on edit button i can pass x or i can pass click i would like to pass click so that you can see the mouse cursor it is clicking on which row okay so done so now let's save the test case so let me repeat what we did okay we are selecting a table and then i am selecting a row also but when i am selecting a row i am not specifying any row number here and then i am looking out for first name i am looking out for first name column this is your column for first name column look for john that is my constraint action mode and then for last name column look for do that is my constraint if these two constraint matches then click on edit button right so now let's mark the work state as completed save your test case so let me run the test case now let's run this test case and see what happens right click and run in scratch book see it went to second row it clicked you solve this automation problem let me do one thing let me try again so let see here now your john do is in third row let's run this particular test case one more time and see what happens right click and run see it is clicking on edit button which is in third row so you solve this automation problem so this is how you can solve an obstacle where you need to interact with the complex web tables and the data within the web table cells is a dynamic in nature if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand how can we solve for an obstacle where you need to interact with the complex web tables in which the data within the cells is dynamic in nature while automating your test cases please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos and don't forget to like and share the video thank you